A man of faith and the law, Chief Justice David Maraga had set the tone early in the short ruling session. The greatness of a nation lies in its fidelity to its constitution and a strict adherence to the rule of law. And above all, the fear of God. Setting aside the usual lessons in power with a single strike. Enduringly true to his convictions, he's one whose deeply held religious beliefs, he says, have brought him peace. Every Sabbath, always in the front pew. And for a man known to be a stickler for tradition, this isn't one he was about to break, not for anything even a presidential election petition. Happy Sabbath. Not afraid to wear his faith on his sleeves, he's always followed the dictates of his religion and emphasized his Christian values in the execution of his duty, invoking both the faith and the law as he can grab opportunity. Get me that Bible. In the name of God, the creator of the entire universe, I have never taken a bribe and I will never take a bribe. The 64-year-old jurist, by spectacled, perhaps magnifying his revered presence in the courtroom, is also a personification of conservatism. I believe uh, in the fact that what you believe in actually ends up shaping your character. I believe, uh, I mean, in the word of God, I believe in uh, being fair to everybody. Yet to his peers, he is fiercely independent. Not a flamethrower, but an apologetic. Take, for instance, his sharp-tongued critique of the executive. <laughs> now, he's been hailed the supreme hero, following an uncommon ruling in the continent and largely in the world. Do swear in the name of the Almighty God to diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya and to impartially do justice in accordance with this constitution. And doing justice is what he says he did in a ruling loved by some and scorned by others. Yet nothing in his record shows he was ever a polarizing figure. For the Judicial Service Commission that picked him for the job, he was the quintessential standard, fit for a judiciary pounded by allegations of impropriety and bribe-taking, all of them denied. And even in his home village, he is the high priest of the Supreme Court. By his side, his deputy carved an image of a humble yet firm member of the bench, Lady Justice Philomena Mwilu, who has 32 years' experience in law, considers herself a liberal because of her stand on social issues. Justice Isaac Lenaola, another newcomer on the bench, during vetting described himself as liberal and pragmatic. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.